let's get to now what uh, some people consider a safe haven sector utilities. The utilities ETF XLU slightly down today, but it is up nearly 18 percent from June lows. The chart master sees the sector hitting new highs and says there's a rate connection. Let's bring in Carter Worth of Worth Charting. Carter, what are you looking at? Hi, team. Hi, Melissa. Yeah, just to Dan's point, there is a very distinct possibility that we are seeing peak moment in rates. And it isn't random that utilities are acting fairly well. We do know this before we get to the charts. It's one of only two sectors that are up on the year, of course, energy up big. Um, and we also know, to your point, that it's very defensive. Uh, utilities have outperformed staples, outperformed REITs, and outperformed healthcare and uh, consumer staples. Let's look at the charts and then um, maybe we can end with a point or two. There are four charts. They're all the same. It's just different lines, different arrows, different annotations. First one, no drawings. Next one, one way to draw the lines. It's a fairly well-defined bottoming out formation. You see the June low, it bottoms, so does the market. Look at the second iteration. You can call it People love to name their patterns. It doesn't have to be called a cup and handle. It's what a, a setup is, a reversal before breaking out. And finally, the fourth, again, same time frame, uh, uh, an instrument, doesn't matter what this is, it happens to be utilities, that is toying with the prospects of breaking out to new highs. But I think the important thing is this, utilities are sort of thought of as dull, uh, boring, and yet, Total return is one of the most important features of investing, as all will know. Consider this. Just go back 25 years to September of 1997. The S&P has doubled the performance of the S&P utility sector. But the total return utilities versus the total return S&P are dead even. Meaning utilities total return have kept up with the S&P total return since September of 1997. And the trajectory has been much steadier, meaning a higher quality return series. That is a staggering stat. Carter, thank wow. you. Carter Braxton. He's always got big stats. Yeah. I mean, just, I'm, I'm absolutely <laughs> stunned. Since 1997, the total return equal to that of the entire market? That's amazing. So the whole time CNBC has been on the air ish. We you could, could have just, just done utilities. <laughs> utilities. It's a very different every show. Day. Buy yeah. utilities every day. No, we're joking here. Carter, thank you. Carter Worth. Uh, Courtney, do you like utilities? Yeah, I do think we're in this period right now where regardless of us going into a recession, kind of if, if the Fed is going to force us there or not, we are going to be going into a slowing growth environment. So the question is how severe that is, is really what everybody's wondering. But either way, utilities are something that is defensive and it tends to do well in that type of environment. Especially if we do start to see commodity prices coming down, interest rates coming down. I do think that'll benefit that. So I think it'd be worth a look. Where, where they're not defensive, though, is when you look at their valuations. I mean, if you look yeah. at Next Era, which is really 15% of the XLU, I believe, in terms of the weighting, so the utilities ETF, and has outperformed even the utilities ETF by 10% over the last three months. But it, it trades at around 28, 29 times forward earnings, and historically, uh, over the last couple of years, has traded expensive uh, to the S&P, but again, an S&P that was also at a much higher multiple. I, I'll just say a couple of these companies, and these ones in particular, really benefit from some investment themes around renewables and and. and and ESG. Mm -hmm. And so in some sense, they're trading expensive because they offer investors opportunities to be in pretty hot spaces. Yeah. Karen, what do you think? Too expensive? You know, I almost never look at the space, although clearly in hindsight. Should have just put money in utilities. I just, yeah, that would have been so <laughs> boring, though. I guess, you know, I just feel like um, there's a lot of other stuff that I'd rather be in that I, you have to feel like you can outperform the market. Right, and and so I've never really been. But isn't outperforming, defensive. you know, what, be, being yeah. defensive I'm in a market like this? Outperformance right. is absolutely. I, when I think about being defensive, I'm, I'm always long, right? So, but I think about: Do I want to own S and P puts, right? Mm -hmm. Do I want to have any shorts on that I think would be the benefit beneficiary of a slowing economy, mm -hmm. like we talked about boats and things like right. that? Um, that's the sort of way I, I'm defensive. I probably I should really rethink that somewhat. Yeah, we should. That's, maybe we should do a whole segment on utilities. Who wow. knew?